Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the Director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. Fuller E. Calloway was born in LaGrange on July 15, 1870. He was one of 12 children born to Reverend Abner Reeves Calloway, a second generation Baptist minister, and his wife Sarah Jane Howard. Sarah died when Fuller was only eight years old, and at the age of 10, Fuller was given a nickel for bringing water to men at a barn raising. The next day, he walked eight miles into LaGrange to purchase some boots. Realizing the nickel wouldn't cover the cost of the boots he wanted, he purchased three spools of thread and sold them to three housewives who each paid five cents a spool. He had made his first dime. Fuller saved and at the age of 18, he used $500 he had saved to open a dime store. He later opened four other stores and entered the wholesale business. Callaway's success as a dry goods merchant provided the capital for him to invest in LaGrange's first modern textile mill. Dixie Mills opened with local fanfare in 1895, but was poorly equipped and began to struggle with only a couple of years. Other local investors convinced Fuller to take over management. He invested his entire life savings of $10,000 to replace the antiquated machinery and began to turn a profit. By 1900, local investors, including Fuller, were working on a new project and Unity Mills was created. Between 1900 and 1920, Mr. Calloway and others opened several mills in LaGrange and the area. Callaway expanded into other businesses, helping to launch such firms as the LaGrange National Bank, the LaGrange Savings Bank, Security Warehouse Company, the Callaway Development Company, and the Manchester Development Company. While a businessman, Fuller Callaway always had a great interest in the well-being of his workers. He stressed the importance of social and educational opportunities. Mill houses, churches, schools, parks, greenhouses, and other amenities were built alongside the mills. His concern and care for his employees kept their morale up and allowed the businesses to thrive. Mr. Callaway held positions in the National Textile Associations and was president of the American Cotton Manufacturers. He also served as a railroad commissioner of Georgia and was appointed by Woodrow Wilson to the Conference on Industrial Relations in 1919. Despite all these accomplishments, Fuller said that his greatest accomplishment was marrying Ida Jane Kaysen of Jewell, Georgia in 1891. They met while she was attending Southern Female College here in LaGrange. Fuller and Ida had two sons, Kaysen Jewell Calloway and Fuller Earl Jr. In 1916, Fuller and Ida moved into the home they called Hills and Dales. He died there on February 12, 1928. The following year, mill employees suggested and contributed a day's pay to construct a large tower in memory of Fuller E. Calloway. The clock tower stands today. To learn more about Fuller E. Calloway, his businesses, and his home, visit Hills and Dales Estate. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.